Welcome to our exploration of the rich tapestry of English Bible translations. Today, I'm diving deep into the historical and linguistic nuances that distinguish these texts. Let's start our journey with the King James Version, or KJV. Completed in 1611, this version was commissioned by King James I of England and is renowned for its majestic prose and profound influence on English literature. The translators aimed to create a Bible that was not only accurate, but also resonant and poetic. But as the English language evolved, the need for more accessible translations emerged. Enter the New International Version, or NIV, first published in 1978. This translation sought to balance readability with fidelity, using contemporary English to reach a broader audience. Its clear, straightforward language makes it one of the most popular Bible versions today. Another notable translation is the English Standard Version, or ESV. Released in 2001, the ESV is a revision of the Revised Standard Version. It adheres to an essentially literal translation philosophy, aiming to be transparent to the original text while maintaining literary excellence. Now, let's consider the new Revised Standard Version, or NRSV. This version, which debuted in 1989, is notable for its inclusivity and use of gender-neutral language when the original texts allow. It's widely acclaimed in academic circles for its scholarly precision and has been adopted by many religious and educational institutions. Each of these translations offers a unique lens through which to view the biblical texts. The KJV enchants with its poetic flair, the NIV offers clarity and accessibility, the ESV provides a meticulous adherence to the original languages, and the NRSV champions inclusivity and scholarly rigor. As scholars, it's crucial to understand these distinctions not only on a textual level, but also in their historical and cultural contexts. Each version reflects the linguistic, theological, and philosophical trends of its time, offering us a window into the evolving relationship between language, faith, and society. Thank you for joining me in this scholarly pursuit. Whether you're a theologian, historian, linguist, or simply a curious mind, I hope this exploration enriches your understanding of these pivotal texts in the tapestry of English literature and religious study. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments and I will make more detailed videos about this topic.